there we are awesome awesome good morning good morning everyone hope you're doing well today today is january 29th 2021 and we're doing a live stream open discussion on gamestop wall street and it's an asmr math video but because of the action in the markets um, i've decided to sort of focus on uh, the action that's taking place on wall street regarding and surrounding gamestop and shorting and whatnot on charter days how are you doing Ichicho? how are you doing today doing good man doing good i hope you're doing well exciting times exciting times can you go over some basic algebra today? For sure on Charter Days. Um, now, on Charter Days, is this a mad rush? Or can we hold off on it until maybe, maybe um, I might set, because if we go a little bit too long, but first, first question, can you hang out for the whole stream? Okay, that's my first question. Because if you can't, then what we can do is do the basic algebra right now and then we get into the uh, talking about the uh, GameStop and Wall Street and the markets and whatnot um, which which is pretty straightforward uh, but I do want to lay it out yeah I will be here all stream all stream okay okay brother uh, let's see what the chat wants to talk about uh, wait until people that show up okay good morning dragons good morning I know there's a lot of people um, really curious as to what's going on with the markets and what this uh, this is all about and is very very much related to mathematics without a doubt without a doubt right um so it's a very beautiful thing to see happen in real life and link it up with math right morning chicho gajil gajil how are you doing lions lions good morning good morning gang hope you're doing well I'm uploading the kitty cat videos in the next couple of days today and tomorrow and then we're gonna do the rest of the stuff it's Vince it's Vince how are you doing welcome welcome to another live stream having a lot of fun following all this yeah me too me too super fun super fun uh, it's uh, uh, times are changing in in a big way right now before we get into all the business let me do my uh, quick little intro uh, I'm not sure if uh, uh, notifications have gone on on Discord and Twitch, but usually it takes, uh, you know, sometimes they do it within five minutes, sometimes within 15 minutes, sometimes they do it after the fact, right? Watching those rich guys getting found out and doing all the wrong stuff to save their money. And that's the key, right? It's not just about uh, what's going on the retail front and people collaborating, cooperating together to do something. It's about the system how corrupt it is and those in power putting in blockers to prevent people from even just skimming a little bit off the top right curtain veil being lifted right <clears throat> lions was just watching a video series on stocks and investing i want my piece of pie in all this <laughs> again your piece of the pie is not in the mark is not in wall street just just to let you know right uh you'll be a well you know if you invest in it they'll take care of you as a slave as a serf right if you abide right but as the blockers regulations changing and stuff like this they will prevent you from doing what they are doing so as long as you're happy being a second-class citizen a serf a slave then by all means follow the funds right if you want to be a free thinking human being in control over your own destiny then understand what the game is and then decide if you want to participate in it or not and realize that there are a lot of other games on the side that you can participate in and still maintain your integrity right hold the line <laughs> <laughs> the last story <laughs> laughing my ass off yeah funny line funny line good morning stonks i'm in i'm in the uh, dog to the moon i dude uh desire <laughs> be careful with that <laughs> to the moon yes 
AMC holding a 13 and change. X, how are you doing? I'm assuming notifications have gone out, gang. It's 14 now, rising. Nice, nice. This is just like being back at, at Vegas. Not a means of steady income. Just having fun. Awesome, Zara. Awesome. And that's the way it should be. And uh, there is secondary stuff associated with the two. AMC just jumped. Strawberry rhubarb pie for me. Nights of <laughs> oh shit it's me trousers hey chicho brother wishing you very well you you too as well all of you really gang not going there's a lot of hype going on not going gang lonely piggy lonely piggy how are you doing hey chicho been a little while hope you've been doing well and congrats on the kittens thank you very much lonely piggy they're super fun man super fun we have a nice chill space and the kittens have added another element of chill to it you can't go wrong can't go wrong well you can't go wrong but it's all, it's all good so far what i want to know is what is the benefit to lending stocks to shorters the coin is the future <laughs> it's pronounced hot i know i can't pronounce it i always pronounce it dog coin man i've been following dog coin or dodgy dodgy coin do dodgy coin <laughs> I just got it. Dodgy coin. Emily, how are you doing? I love the stocks. It's fun, man. It's fun. Boop. Dodgy coin. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's having a fantastic time, man. Seriously. Good times, good times. Oh yeah, gang. Who I am, what this is about, and where we're going with everything. Let me let me do this. Where am I? Where am I? I'm here. Oh yeah, that's right. <coughs> gang i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this is about which is all layered on mathematics you can follow the work on patreon i don't put anything beyond paywalls everything's creative commons share share like right for those of you that have been supporting this work on patreon gang thank you for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're here right now and continuing to do this 15 years 15 plus years 16 years of creating content writing articles and 14 years 15 years on youtube so thank you very much for the support okay gang uh what's the <laughs> invest in chicho old <laughs> i bought 380 coins for 15 pounds today felix how are you doing here comes the money uh <laughs> laughing my ass off man sorry i'm getting my rocks off on wall street pissing and more morning because a bunch of gamers figured out how to beat them at their own game how to beat some of them right there are <coughs> this is the this is the even though they're supposed to be big players and stuff this is the low-hanging fruit of the money makers right of those who rule wall street right so they're throwing some of their own to the wolves <laughs> they're, they're saying oh the masses are coming <laughs> off the boat you go off the boat you go <laughs> too funny too funny <clears throat> too funny uh, cheryl says thanks for the trust thanks for the trust so it looks like wall street fought back and now they're gonna win uh, uh, no they're not gonna they, look the most the most brilliant the most positive aspect of what's going on right now is the veil being lifted to the masses to more of the masses right a lot of people who've played the game they know how the game is played they know what this is about like <laughs> because they they've been involved with it right but a lot of people have been thinking that this is a legit game legit system right wealth for all increase your wealth now they're going away oh, wait a second you're changing the rules in the middle of the game it's like playing monopoly with someone that is the bank well you're never gonna win at the end you lose everything right <coughs> holy dip amd chicho is under <laughs> 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 
are are managers buying to help spread the pain uh, there are certain funds like I can guarantee you Cheryl there are certain hedge funds that also bought into this riding the wave up to get rid of some of their competition right to screw over the other hedge funds right they're a pack of like Wall Street is a cesspool they don't they don't have allegiances to each other they have allegiances to the game right so I can guarantee you there's hedge funds that went long on GameStop and they're 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 not only selling their shares right now they're shorting it again possibly or at least taking a certain percentage of those profits and buying puts on it and I don't know if uh, GameStop it shouldn't be put in call actually no it is I'm pretty sure it is you can buy puts and calls on uh, GameStop as well so I'm pretty sure there are people paying the premium to buy calls to ride it up or and to ride it down right they're straddling the price why not all right why wouldn't you when the movement's just like this <laughs> Zero zero. Hi, Chicho. Just a quick off-topic question. I heard that uh, Balinese cats are sort of uh, hyper allergic. What's your experience on that? I love cats, but I'm super. Uh, brother, sister. Zero 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 zero. I have never ever petted any dogs or cats where I haven't had hair on me. Okay. I can pick them up cuddle them pet them put them down no hair no hair there is no hair there's more chicho hair in this house than there is kitty cat hair <laughs> like I've never seen anything like it right and personally I don't like shedding animals everywhere right uh, you know I know some people might be upset by that right I don't like to sit on a couch and then get up and I have hair all over me <laughs> I just don't like it these guys zero really I've never seen anything like it okay so that's my experience um, and no allergies yet okay as far like zero so so far fantastic and they're super intelligent man super intelligent kitties right Cheryl I love seeing the press from uh, citron r no longer publishing short <laughs> research the end noting that they started in the hope of being anti-establishment only to become the style indeed and robin hood selling people's shares without notifying them we sold your house <laughs> what what are you nuts <laughs> gina how you doing are you chicho and chat i hate that we live in a world where money has become a um commodity and in of itself death to the whole rotten thing gina i am with gina 100 percent death to the whole rotten thing and i'm going to explain to you how the system works right chicho air chicho everyone <laughs> that's good because less of a mess less of a mess less of a mess it's vince a good thing uh to know is that since those uh hedge funds might uh, have to sell their positions on different stocks to cover their losses if you guys invest on in the long term you might find some good deal there it's Vince uh, look everything's I personally wouldn't be long I've told people what I would be long on you know in the last few few years uh, what I would be long on which would have been cryptos <laughs> I've mentioned a few times and cannabis companies right and cannabis companies I mentioned a few times too and the cannabis stocks have been doing phenomenal and cryptos have been doing pretty damn good right I, and disclaimer I don't own any cannabis stocks and I uh, I'm not trading cryptos or anything like this right I'm not uh, I'm not in uh, my full-time gig is this man I, I like doing this brings me peace chill environment I'm not into playing the money right I don't do this for the money I do this for the knowledge for the information because information is power right zero zero yes but I think it, it, it's a matter of protein they produce not much of the hair but I could try um, zero zero uh, from one understand the Balinese kittens don't have that layer of uh, skin I, I, it, this is what my partners told me I, I haven't looked into this but um, they're uh, they don't have a layer of skin that other cats have that produce that 
um, the protein or whatever it is right from what I understand look into it though and if you find out the info please post it in our discord in our pets pictures folder or something like this boom Nikki Hickey how are you doing tell us how it works brother I will sorry let me go through the intro speedy Gonzalez for the love don't forget Chicho for, for the love indeed Nikki Hickey should have said that for the love right for the love <coughs> great to see you jack oh jack how are you doing welcome back how has nobody made a chicho currency <laughs> my <Mind> old <laughs> and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a journalist and publisher that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency accountability of capitalist power right free assange and more information on julian assange and wikileaks playlist MC Mike, how you doing? I go long on Ethereum. They're the number one go-to for smart contracts and the blockchain to facil facilitate that. I was analyzing this last year and had has had fantastic returns and got good opportunities or, or room for growth. Uh, uh, Ethereum, indeed, right? I hate how yelling the number five really loud in math changes the value to 120. It's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh and don't i uh, hope you're doing well chicho excited for your thoughts on this crazy situation indeed oh yes they don't have the undercoat like some dogs yeah gang we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e gang thank you for being here thank you for the subs thank you to the mod thank you for the follows thank you for the coins thank you for the um bits and thank you for participating in this discussion it is also in large part because of your support that we're able to do this i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines lovk gap parlor once it's back up and twitter and we do have a discord page you can come our come to our twitch channel anytime you want type in exclamation mark social and all the links did I spell it wrong? I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Social. And all the links will pop up here in the bottom. There's a link to our Discord page where there's a few hundred people sharing lots of information. Okay. And making sure uh, we're all informed as to what's going on. Gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs, just in case I missed them. Okay. For live streams, when we don't have any visuals, we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. You can follow the work there. And those audio files should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this video to YouTube, Bitchu, Rumble, and if I have enough Odyssey coins to Odyssey. I've tried to set things up and I'm having some hiccups with that, with the security and all this jazz and linking up the phone. And, that, you know i wanted to get more coins and they needed my information i'm not into <laughs> the privacy breach from my aspect of the thing so once as we start getting more coins in odyssey however it works we'll load up videos as they come and at some point it's going to snowball there'll be enough coins there to upload all the content there but for now youtube bitshoot and rumble the videos will be up everything goes up to bitshoot and rumble sensor tube doesn't allow us to load everything so if you want to follow all our work you want to be on bitshoot and rumble but if you're on youtube and this will go on youtube you can support this work by following sharing liking commenting and on youtube there's a button there you can join youtube membership and for those of you handful of you who've joined youtube membership gang thank you for the support it is also because of your support that we're able to do this gang let me take these guys down let's get into business now we've had a request to talk about some basic algebra as well so i'm going to try to make sure we have enough time towards the end to do this okay if if i ran out of time to talk about mathematics when it comes up and mathematics takes center stage i will set up another live stream tomorrow to take care of the math aspect of things if anybody has questions regarding mathematics so towards the end if you've had math questions that you want to talk about Post them once we I finish give you the lowdown of what's going on, my perspective on things. Uh, need be, we'll do another one tomorrow. Okay. Uh, for me, this is about mathematics, right? The more people that are literate in the language of mathematics, the better our societies will be, the more freedom we will all have. And what's going on with GameStop and the markets and Wall Street and stuff, it is in huge part mathematics related, right? <clears throat> 
Huckleberry. Hey everyone, hope I'm not too late. University has been kicking my ass. The boss guy can bet Dragon Chicho. The pair uh, the parlor link isn't working uh, for some uh, dragons. Parlor got taken out of the game for now, right? Check this out. They say censorship doesn't matter because these are private platforms that are censoring information such as censor tube youtube twitter facebook uh, google searches and all this chat and then they say build your own platforms if you don't like our platforms right so you can talk freely and then people build their own platforms to be able to communicate without censorship right and then they say wait a second uh you, you can't do that so we're gonna we're gonna de-platform you off of our platforms. We're gonna kick you off our searches, such as Google, and we're not gonna allow you to uh, transact funds to be transferred to your account. And in Amazon, being in the business of hosting uh, data, cloud services says, oh no, I don't care how much money you give us, we're not gonna host your servers either. What the F, All right? What the F? Parler, I'm assuming will be back up. If you want to follow the content, the mind stuff, you can join on Minds, you can join on Elo, you can join join on Gab, you can join on VK, okay, and of course Twitter. Twitter is the one that I have the most followers on, but I'm hoping at some point the other platforms as well will kick up in uh, number of followers there. So decentralizing it. My apologies about Parler. I can't really do anything about it. Um, but hopefully it'll be back up sooner rather than later. Do you trade crypto? No, I don't, Lions. More specifically, ADA, no. I'm not trading any cryptos. I did mining, a uh, little bit of mining uh, Bitcoin in 2010, okay? I've been following this since it hit, you know, since you could buy hundreds of Bitcoin for less than a dollar, right? You, you could have bought, back in 2009, 2010, you could have bought no thousand bitcoins for like 50 bucks right <clears throat> nikki hickey oh snap i can catch you on spotify i just got the app for some uh uh oh, coltrane nice john coltrane i'm gonna go crazy on the chicho that's awesome it should be on there nikki uh parlor for shutdown because right wing is being infiltrated by white supremacy <laughs> yeah i know crazy the bs that they're spewing right huckleberry i mean they, they even blame some of the game stop action on what's going on wall street on trumpism i'm like the the garbage coming out of corporate propaganda is, is over the top over the top it's like blaming the sinking of the titanic on a penguin the penguin did it <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> the penguin hit the boat then the penguin brought over the iceberg <laughs> what? it was a penguin invasion <laughs> they were trying to they were trying to kill all the federal reserve people the people who are against the federal reserve uh and that they were riding in the titanic right and crazy penguin assassins huckleberry chicho to be fair the deep platform or parlor was a result of the complete lack of moderation when it came to uh, fomenting acts of violence i think it sets a dangerous precedent but i also don't think it was wholly unjustified huckleberry i i never saw anything uh pushing violence on parlor but there are laws in place to deal with people who are fomenting violence and trying to instigate chaos right every government has that in place right um so i don't know where it's at right and twitter you man you used to watch people <laughs> like when isis was full blown the amount of horrendous things you could see on twitter was over the top man it was unbelievable right how come they didn't get knocked out right it's 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 uh as george Carlin would say uh it's a big club and you're not in it and neither am i right and neither is parlor from the looks of it there's no penguins in the arctic and arctic ocean oh no damn that must be a conspiracy then right penguin penguins man Dra uh dragon chicho don't know if you saw my last but uh 
uh, Wall Street bet Discord was taken down for hate speech. Yeah, I saw that, Dragons. Yeah, they use hate be hate speech to take down anyone, right? I, we we talked. There's been a little bit of discussion on that on our Discord page, right? No, that was that was crazy. That's <laughs> crazy, gang. At some point, we're gonna set up a Telegram uh, messaging thing for Chicho. Um, I just got on Telegram a couple of weeks ago, thanks to Elder God, and. Um, once i get a handle on other things we'll set up one on telegram as well as a secondary uh place that we can communicate right uh, but that's basically what they do right that's why that's what uh prohibition and censorship is all about creating the enemy the other right and anytime you need it you say you say oh that's the other uh, they're they're this they're this uh kill them <laughs> put their own in concentration camps right it's crazy there's a conspiracy theory that the woke movement was created to prevent another um, Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street never really went away. It just went into the background, right? Like one of the, uh, it's it's basically fuel for fire. Like once o Obama administration came out and shut down Wall Street overnight across the United States, a lot of people got pissed, me included, right? So we kicked things up a notch. Right. I don't think it was uh, created for that, but it's certainly been uh, co op by people to distract from uh, class consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. Gang, should we get into the action on GameStop while on Wall Street? Now I'm going to give you guys a quick lowdown or rundown of what this game is. Okay. What this game is. And gang, remember, if you have math questions, okay, um, post them once I finish this stuff and we'll make a list and see if we can deal with your math questions. If not, I'll set one up uh, maybe tomorrow um, afternoon. Tomorrow we're doing current events at 8 p.m. Um, and then we're doing... Uh, uh, human rights Sunday at 8 p.m. So I, I I can set one up uh, maybe in the morning tomorrow morning or something like that if we don't get to it. <clears throat> Citron Research discontinues short selling research after 20 years of publishing. Citron will no longer pub, uh, publish short reports. We will focus on giving long side multi banger opportunities for individual investors crazy <laughs> tell it to us Chicho. okay let's do this man let's do this let's do this let's do this and by the way uh probably uh only me and mods are allowed to post links uh so links that we see i think you still see the links but on chat we only see stars right so if you want to share links and this goes to anyone go to our discord page and you can share links there let me here's our discord page right you can come to our chat and go exclamation mark discord and the link will pop up and then we have different folders there that you can post uh, share information and thank you for joining our discussion right okay gang let's talk about the action on GameStop, what's going on? Wall Street, what happened with Robin Hood? What's all this uh, chaos about? Okay, now before we get an appreciation of what's really going on, we have to understand what the stock market is about or what it was initially designed for, which the idea is legitimate. The execution has been horrendous, right? So just imagine, right? Just imagine that you're a company that you have an idea, you have a product, you have a service that you want to bring into the market, but you don't have the funds to do so, right? So this is you, okay? This is you. You and your idea. For now, let's assume you is GameStop, right? And GameStop's been around for a while, so retail, and uh, uh, you know they, they sell games and products and services. I'm assuming and stuff like this, and 
they're focused on gaming right now just imagine you are a company that you're trying to raise money to continue your operation or you're trying to do placement to buy out another company or you're trying to raise money right to be able to restructure for the new times right for the new things happening in the markets for example if you're a retail space that had a lot of locations in a mall right before e-commerce kicked in maybe you need to raise some funds to be able to transition into an e-commerce world right so how does a company like you raise money all right one of the things you could do you could go privately hit up some people you know send out some uh, some summaries of your work right and get people privately to invest in your company and there are a lot of private placements right you don't have to go to wall street or stock market or different stock markets to raise money you can go to different individuals right you could go to different in individuals private right and get the money coming in right all the money comes in you get the money you want and then you can expand your work right you go here and you expand or you start your project right you get the money coming in you do it that way all right what's your other choice instead of going private you go to Wall Street okay you go to Wall Street <laughs> hilarious you go to Wall Street to get some money When you go to Wall Street to get some money, there are certain things you can do, right? Now, even if you go to private to get your money, right? What you can do, you can take, let's say, half your company and say you're giving shares of half your company to the people that you are investing in your company, right? Now, for a long time, the way a company, you, would be able to do this you would go to the banks right and the banks and the banks have a whole bunch of network set out there right they have a whole bunch of money people that they can take a certain percentage of the company that's trying to raise money right and sell those shares the banks sort of are the in-between people right they're the salesman they place you know the shares with these rich people and these rich people the money people right the uh the the funds some of them they buy a share of your company and you expand and do what you need to do right and this isn't just people who are starting new okay <laughs> This isn't just companies that are new. Thank you, Sheriff, for taking care of business. This isn't companies that are just new, right? Google does this. Apple does this, all right? Facebook does this. They do secondary offerings. They do, th they, they, whenever, like for example, Apple did, I forget what it was, uh, a few years ago, right? They did a multi billion dollar offering because they wanted the cash, right? And then they, what they did, if this is Apple, right? They took a little chunk of their company and they issued more shares and they brought in billions of dollars coming in, right? And what the company says they need that for, they say they need it for R&D, they need it for mergers and acquisitions, they need to stabilize their company, they need to expand, they need to do it for whatever reasons, right? So the concept of this is legit for you to have a place to go to to raise some money, right? Now, what's this dependent on? How much money you can raise? Well, if you're already in the market, right, and GameStop has been in the market for a number of years, you can raise a certain amount of money based on your stocks, based on your share price, right? So, for example, if your share price is $10, right, and you want to raise, let's say, a million dollars, right? Or let's say $10 million. You want to raise $10 million, right? How many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
you want to raise 10 million dollars then what you do you issue 1 million shares at 10 dollars and usually you give the discount right if the stock is trading at ten dollars usually there's a percentage off that you say hey you know what for the banks that are going to be finding us investors that are going to put money into the company what we're going to do we're going to give them a 15 percent discount or 20 percent discount right 15 percent less right so they get 15 percent discount from what the average share price has been for the last 90 days in general last 30 days depending on the different exchanges you're in right so you can sell your 1 million shares right shares number number of shares less it's going to be a little bit more than 10, 1 million shares because you're giving people a 15 percent discount right so you can sell offer right an additional share and what it, that does that dilutes the amount of shares you have in the market right so in general whenever you're doing this the stock price takes a little bit of a hit right and there is sort of restrictions you put on the shares you say okay we're issuing these shares but you can't sell your shares in the open market the next day because people would do that and right away if the share price is ten dollars they're getting a 15 percent discount they dump one million shares at ten dollars they automatically overnight or within a week they make 15 percent interest right which is pretty good deal right but usually they say you can't do that and all there's all these little rules and regulations that you can't do that right they say okay it's locked in for three months half of it is locked in for three months the other half you can sell after a year or something like this and they do this with their um, CEOs and managers and uh, board of directors and all that jazz too right now just imagine this if your ability to raise money in the open market is dependent on your share price then your share price matters because if your share price is ten dollars then you only need to sell dilute the shares by dilute the outstanding shares by one million to raise ten million dollars but if your share price is two dollars and fifty cents and you want to raise 10 million dollars now you got to issue 4 million shares right this is important this is important right the share price matters which is something that you have to consider what's going on with GameStop because GameStop has been beaten down their share price has been shorted right now we'll get into that right but think about it this way the price of GameStop share has been beaten down so low that they would have to dilute the number of outstanding shares by a lot to be able to raise a significant amount of money that they would need to raise to be able to restructure their retail spaces to go online to be able to sell their products online and who would they be competing against well hell they'd be competing against Amazon and the likes the Giants right and it becomes more difficult to raise a substantial amount of capital to go against giants like Amazon and Walmart and Microsoft and all these Silicon Valley and they establish the the legacy companies right because they've been in the game for a long time and they got a lot of funds on the side right like Apple when they sold additional shares to make a few billion dollars they took all that money and put it in the bank and they gave it as dividends to the shareholders and they said they were doing R&D and stuff like that but if you look at Apple's um, cash on hand it's huge right a lot of that has to do with them continuously reissuing shares right and making more money now if your stock is being beaten down you're gonna have a hard time doing that right you're gonna have a hard time doing that Keep that in mind this is very relevant to game stock i'm going to take this down okay because we're going to create a certain other talk about the shorting of shares right we're going to keep the ten dollar there okay. now let's take this down let's take this down 
but you're still there okay now let's assume to a certain degree to a certain degree okay now let's assume this is you or your GameStop now I believe I can't remember how much outstanding shares there are in GameStop I think it's like 65 million shares or something but I'm, I'm not 100 sure right short I recognize this term the big short indeed now take a look at this let's assume this is you let's assume you have a million shares outstanding right number of shares number of shares right and I'm using a million because I've said this many times what are mathematicians what are mathematicians mathematicians are lazy right if you're trying to understand the mathematical concept of trying to do calculations come up with a model the easiest number to scale is one right so you're gonna see a lot of ones that's where the percentage comes from 100 right that's where the unit circle comes from in trigonometry with the radius of one right one is the easiest number to scale so we're gonna stick with let's say your company has 1 million shares right and let's assume your stock price is ten dollars okay now if you go into the markets depending on the different types of markets you are there are different regulations for different different markets out there right like the TSX in Canada has different regulations and uh, the wall street and nasdaq then canadian exchange and germany and all these places are different regulations right and different regulations allow certain stocks certain companies to be played in a different way okay what are outstanding outstanding shares is how many shares a company has out in the market right so if you have a million shares in the market right and if you're a uh, what do you call it public company you're gonna basically assume 1 million shares represents a hundred percent of your company right so your company would be worth 10 million dollars 10 times 1 million if you have 1 million shares in the company outstanding circulating right worth ten dollars your company is worth 10 million dollars right as the price of your stock goes up so goes the price of your company this is a simplistic version but just think about it this way okay that's what outstanding shares are how many shares are out in circulation for a company okay and companies every now and then buy back their own shares if the if they if you as a company have done really well you got a lot of cash in the bank right you want to kick up your share price you can decide to take five million dollars and buy back your own stock right and if the value of the company hasn't gone up or hasn't um hasn't changed the book value on it and your business model hasn't changed if you buy back half a million shares your own your own company and if there's one million shares outstanding being traded what's going to happen with your price the price is going to go up and everything staying the same your price will go up to twenty dollars right if everything's the same right and you decide you need additional money right to do research and development to do uh, mergers and acquisitions to restructure then you can issue another million shares all of a sudden there's two million shares in the float and the stock price will come down right that's the way you can think about it now depending on the different types of exchanges you're on you can do different things with stocks on wall street right you gotta meet certain thresholds right on wall street there's the pink uh, pink sheets and all this jazz but game stock is on uh, on the new york stock exchange i believe or is it on nasdaq let me do a little check on this doink, 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 doink. Uh, it's on the new york stock exchange right so gamestop is on new york stock exchange and on new york stock exchange they're allowing for game stock shares to be shorted and shorted means this if you're a company out here you're this dude you're this dude right you're this dude okay and then let's assume this guy here says game stock is a crappy 
company and I want to bet that the stock price is going to go down right and that's one thing you have to really appreciate with the stock market you can bet both ways you can bet the stock price is going to go down or you can bet that it's going to go up right a lot of people retail investors usually bet that the price is going to go up because they don't have the ability to do the other games right so can i issue as many shares as i want what determines how many outstanding shares i can have uh, the board of directors right the board of directors can come out and say okay we need to raise money right and we've done really well so stock price is up we want to issue another million shares and this is the reason we want to issue it. usually you know you have to say why you want to issue it you want to say oh you want to give bonuses to all the ceos the board of directors well what do you think is going to happen with the stock price the stock price is going to plummet right because people are going to go what a stupid reason to dilute the number of shares because if you increase the number of shares by an additional million then the value of it comes down right think of it as a collectible right action comics number one last time i checked a couple of years ago two three years ago sold for three million dollars 3.2 million dollars because there's a certain number of action comics number one at a certain grade that are rare they're collectible right what would happen if all of a sudden in somebody's basement they found a thousand action comic number ones in mint condition well the person that bought action comics number one at it was i think it was graded 9.0 that paid three two three point two million dollars well the price of that is going to come down now because there's a lot more of them available right i like the collectibles analogy yeah indeed right like cryptocurrencies bitcoin you can think about it as a collectible and it is right is it, it it's a digital collectible now okay so your stock price is ten dollars this guy over here let's do this guy in red right? this guy over here says i'm willing to bet that game stock or your company is going to go down the toilet right and because game stock is being traded on new york stock exchange new york stock exchange allows something called short selling on certain types of stocks that meet their criteria and GameStop does and your company does right and short selling says this even though this guy in red right doesn't have any of your 1 million shares he's allowed to sell imaginary shares on the market <laughs> right borrowed shares on the market at ten dollars so all of a sudden your float is no longer 1 million your float is more than a million but the short shares are imaginary shares right and game stock the number of shorts of game stock stock were 100 estimates or 100 to 140 percent of the number of shares outstanding so this guy here right and the short play on GameStop wasn't one person there was multiple people involved in it right multiple powerful people involved in it but they're still being fed to the dogs some of them they should be right but the main players are still in the background right so this guy says you know what I'm gonna short I'm gonna sell your company's shares GameStop shares on the open market but they're not shares I have they're imaginary shares they're borrowed shares that I'm gonna sell on the market and estimates are anywhere between a hundred to hundred forty percent of the outstanding shares of GameStop were shorted let's assume we're doing a hundred what are mathematicians mathematicians are lazy we want to deal with ones ones is easily scalable so this guy ends up selling 1 million shares imaginary shares of GameStop on the open market over an extended period of time now if you look at the chart it's like a slow downgrade right so they keep on shorting it buying back shorting it buying back covering the short buying back buying back riding it down pressing it down just imagine a boot on your face holding you down right what's going to happen to the stock price well the stock price is not going to do well right the stock price is going to come down stock price over time 
is going to come down. Let's assume it goes down to 250. Right? Nikki, small thought. Feels like a dumb question. If you start a company and you want to take take it public, how many shares do you uh, do you uh, do you have to pay with before you issue them? out to the public i.e what determines the number of shares your company gets it it's up to the board of directors the people that own the company to decide how many shares they're gonna put out there right and it's a discussion that they have with the banks and it's also a discussion of how much the company is worth and how much of the company they're gonna put in the open market right like for example you don't have to put a hundred percent of your company into the open market right uh, or put the shares out available to the public the owners of the company right so here's another company they can decide to put 25 percent of the shares of, of the company value of the company available to the public to be bought and the rest of it is insiders insiders own the rest of it right 75 percent of the company right so basically what happens is if this company ends up making a hundred dollars profit in a year the 25 percent 25 dollars of that right could be paid back as dividends to the shareholders because that's in the public hands and the other 75 percent or 75 dollars goes to the insiders okay not the determination of how many shares will be issued but how many exist period how many exist period again it's up to the company owners and it's really dependent on what the share price will be and what the value of the company is right you go to the banks and you decide you know they look at your company and they say your company's worth <laughs> let's stick with the number one your company's worth 10 million dollars right before you go on the public right you haven't you're thinking about talking about the uh, talking with the banks and all this stuff decide trying to decide how many shares you're going to put out there right you go to the banks you say they do an assessment they say your company's worth 10 million dollars right that's what you're assessed at and they ask you as a company owner how much of the company do you want to put on the open market you say i want to put 50 percent of the company on the open market foolish thing to do if you really want to retain control of your company but let's say it's 50 percent and you can you can classify the shares as different types of shares class a uh, class one two three a b c or whatever it is right sometimes the shareholders don't have a say in the operations of the company sometimes they do right so let's say you want to put 50 percent of your company on the open market and your company's worth 10 million dollars well then the bank's going to say or you're going to ask the bank what should we price the company shares at per share well the bank says you know what let's price the shares at one dollar each if they're one dollar each then you're going to issue uh five million shares oops right or they could say you know what let's go for the high-end investor let's price the shares at ten dollars a pop then you're not going to issue 5 million shares. You're going to issue 500,000 shares, right? To be worth $5 million, right? It really, it's, 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 it's a game. It's a game. And from those 500,000 shares, what do the banks get out of it? Well, they take a cut of the shares, right? The banks, the people who are doing this placement for selling 500,000 shares at $10, they make a deal with the with the company and they take maybe 50,000 shares and they actually only sell 450,000 shares to the public right that's their kickback okay if they're selling imaginary shares why does it have any effect on the real stock price do people not know the difference uh, we'll get into a think got you I got the calculations of shares to worth i was just confused on the process of pricing the initial shares thank you for my pleasure my pleasure as for tink take a look at this all right let's take this down let's take this down all right. 
So these guys are shorting a million shares. Now, uh, think there are no, no, no worries, uh, Nikki. There, whenever I teach anything in general, right? Uh, most of the time, it's good to have questions coming in because if there's any confusion taking place, if anything I haven't stipulated correctly, uh, or if I make any mistakes, and correct me if I make have any brain farts, it's good to have the feedback. Uh, Absurdicon is very informative. Awesome. Now check this out. Regarding Tink's question, shorting of shares, you can go on different exchanges and figure out how many shares are shorted and how many shares are outstanding. So if you go to, and by the way, that's what uh, someone here linked up, that one of the places that you, you used to go to to be able to see how many of these imaginary shares were out there has decided not to list these imaginary shares anymore. Of oh, what? So they're not even going to start providing you the information of how many imaginary shares people have sold. And the way shorting stocks works is this. Okay, let me explain that to you. It answers my initial question soon. Cool, cool. Now take a look at this. How does shorting work? Now shorting is basically a, a company, a person, a hedge fund, whoever it is, or collective of people deciding to share, to borrow shares right and borrowing shares means this let me kill this for now okay let's assume the stock price is ten dollars right and this guy shorts a million shares of this company at ten dollars right and let's say the stock price goes down to five dollars what this guy can do because when you sell these imaginary shares you actually have to pay back the shares at some point right you can borrow the money to do it right and shorting stocks is not as easy as me and you going and saying oh i want to short the stock before you short a stock the uh, exchanges that you're dealing with the companies that you're dealing with the banks that you're dealing with are going to look at the value of this guy uh, oh, but no, Chicho, don't say my phone name again. I've been too long following on YouTube, also. <laughs> now, this guy is worth money if he's able to short a million shares of a company at ten dollars. The guy's got cash sitting on the background, and he better, right? Because what happens is, if me and you, if anybody buys a stock at ten dollars and the company goes belly up. The most you can lose is ten dollars right but if i decide to short the stock sell this stock at ten dollars and hope that it's going to go down for me to buy it back at five dollars that means i made a five dollar profit if it goes the other way i might lose a lot more right greetings blessings dr p so this guy the only way he's allowed to short stocks is because he's full of dough right you can you can say he's full of something else as well but he's full of dough he's got a lot of money and the banks have looked at this how much money how much net worth this guy has and he has to have multiple uh, way more net worth than what the value of the short is because if he shorts a million shares at ten dollars that means he's borrowed ten million dollars worth of shares and sold them to generate ten million dollars right but if he starts his bet goes the wrong way he might have to pay back a lot more than that if the stock price ends up going the other way let's say it goes to fifteen dollars right so if this guy shorts the stock at ten dollars right and the stock goes down to five dollars this differential here when he buys back this stock because he still has to fulfill the contract He's borrowed these imaginary shares, sold them, and at some point at the brokerage house, is going to say, okay, we need to have those stocks bought back now. If he sells it at $10 and buys it back at five, he just made, oops, I need more room. I need six zeros. He's just made $5 million profit, right? Right? 
right? However, if the stock goes the other way, right? If the stock goes the other way, he has to, if he sold the shares at $10 and buys them back at $15, he has to buy them back at $15. Then he's lost $5 million, right? Positive, made it, negative. That's what it means when you're betting uh, for a company to go down, okay? Sleepy Waves, how you doing? The Real MC. Hey, Nikki, not a dumb question at all. Okay, I'm going to skip uh, discussion between each other, right? Uh, you'll probably have to solve proper. Yeah. So that's what happens. That's what shorting is. And remember, the people shorting a stock are worth a lot of money because if this stock if you've bought it and the stock goes down to zero you've only lost if you had a million shares you only lost 10 million dollars if this stock price instead of going to 15 dollars goes to 150 dollars this guy didn't lose negative didn't lose 5 million they lost 50 million right 50 million no 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 not 50 million what am i saying i did the multiple wrong if it goes to if it goes to 150 dollars they sold it at 10 dollars and they have to now buy it back at 150 dollars they just lost 140 million dollars instead of 10 million dollars is that correct did we do it right i think so right huge difference huge difference right short uh, strategy ever be used in investment portfolios for people with normal income or too risky you can use you can you can play the long and short game by the options way and when you buy options you can buy puts betting that a stock is going to go down or you can buy calls betting that a stock is going to go up right but your uh, uh, your risk of losing money is limited to how much the options were worth okay okay better than me hold all the g jokes noise right so huge difference huge difference now are you willing to bet 10 million dollars right trying to make 10 million dollars and in a week or two weeks or two months all of a sudden you lose control of the the game and the stock price goes up to 150 dollars all of a sudden you sold some shares at 10 dollars to generate 10 million dollars all of a sudden now you need to buy back the same number of shares at 150 dollars and you're gonna lose 140 million dollars oh snap well that's what's going on with the GameStop right and keep this in mind this is something that has occurred for a long time in in Wall Street there's a lot of companies that have been shorted to oblivion right and keep in mind what we talked about initially once a company is under pressure from these big fund managers being stomped on it prevents a company from doing secondary offerings or re-offerings of stock selling the stock to generate money so they can restructure so they can have a future right it prevents them from doing that because they're under serious pressure right it's not the free market it's sort of a game on the side that's taking place okay you only lose the premium so you cap your losses with puts yeah absurdicon so gamestop was being shorted hedge funds expected the price to drop but then reddit stepped in and everyone started buying gme so the price went way up which means that now the hedge funds are going to have to pay back a ton of money right yes but this is the way it works take a look at this thing it's not just one hedge fund that shorted 
GameStop, right? There are multiple hedge funds that shorted GameStop. Let's say this guy is a smaller player. Here, let's do a do a visual. And here's let's take out these two guys and replace them with a bunch of little or guys, right? Little or guys. This is important, by the way, because I'm about to explain to you what a short squeeze is and how it works. Here's a bunch of little guys, little dudes. Because what you're going to find out in Wall Street in our current economic system is a lot of people that me and you talk to the little fund manager and stuff like that. Majority of them don't know. <laughs> they couldn't. I'm, I'm going to be nice. They're not the best informed people in the world, right? They only do what they've been told or they or they parrot what the big boys are doing, right? What the big boys are doing. So this big boy gets a short position, let's say, of a million shares in this company, right? Now, GameStop had about 140% of the actual outstanding shares shorted. So let's assume there is another 400,000 shares, right? Shorted by the little players, right? Now, why did the little players short GameStop? Most likely because they saw this big boy shorting a million shares and they said, we want a piece of the action. So they shorted 400,000 of the GameStop stock, right? Or 40% of it. This is 100% of the original outstanding shares, and this is another 40% of the original outstanding shares. Now, since these little guys are littler, right, smaller players, they don't have as much uh, credit as the big player, right? So their margin calls came in, and margin calls are basically banks calling up a player, right, who's got money in the game, saying listen uh, we can't give you any additional line of credit you have to cover your short so if this guy here or this poor little bastard right this, this guy here right shorted let's say 50,000 shares right at $10 and the stock price went up to $20 right he's gonna get a little phone call from the bank saying hey you don't have enough funds to cover the buyback on $20 if this thing goes up another five your net worth is not enough to be able to buy back your shares you have to buy back your shares right so all of a sudden this guy has to take the hit they need to buy back 50,000 shares, right? Because the price, the stock price is getting away from them, right? So what's going to happen is all of a sudden there's going to be a buy order of 50,000 shares at $20 coming in because this guy needs to cover the initial bet that he made. Holy camoles, this stock price is not going to do a nice little thing like this. It's going to go like this. Boom. All of a sudden, there's 40,000 or 50,000 buy of a stock price, right? So what happens when it goes up here, the price might jump up to $30, right? So the price jumps up to $30. Oh, look, there's another poor bastard <laughs> that's here. He, was, he, wasn't, he was expecting this thing to go down. Now the price is at $30. This guy gets the next call from the bank. The bank says, hey, buddy, you have another 50,000. Let's say this guy bought another 50,000 shares, uh, shorted 50,000 shares at $10. Their net worth is the equivalent of the stock price being worth $35 or $40. Usually the margin you're allowed to play with is anywhere between 25 to 75% of your net worth, usually 50%, right? Once you cross that threshold, you're going to get a call from the bank saying you got to liquidate some of your assets because you're gonna you're gonna have the margin there to cover your losses so this guy this this next person online gets another call from the bank saying okay 
you're going to have to buy back the amount of shares that you shorted because your net worth is not enough to cover this if this guy this thing goes up anymore right so there's another short squeeze coming in all of a sudden woof, another 50,000 shares at $30 woof, right and the higher the price the larger the movements if there's big blocks being bought like this all of a sudden this guy goes up to $60 oh guess what the next dominoes fall boom 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 the stock price goes from 20 30 60 150 320 dollars all of a sudden this big boy gets a phone call this big boy gets a phone call from the bank hey big boy you shorted a million shares at ten dollars that was worth ten million dollars now you have to cover this short game stock price went up to breached 400 game stock price went up to i think right now today is trading at around 320 dollars 320 dollars the guy shorted a million shares at ten dollars has to cover has to buy back the shares at 320 dollars that means he has to pay the difference which is 310 dollars a million shares he have to he has to cough up 310 million dollars and a million shares what's that going to do to the stock price when it's sitting at 320 dollars where is it going to go there's only a million shares outstanding this guy needs to buy back a million shares where is he going to buy it back from if people are as the mantra is going holding the line and not selling their shares oh snap crackle pop the share price is gonna go I don't know where is it gonna go my board is not big enough right that's the game at play right now now is it everything that everybody's saying hold the line and all this uh, not really right this is the simplified version but one thing you have to consider and apologies if I'm not reading the chat okay but this is the game at play right now me and you don't get to print money right me and you don't have access to zero percent interest as much as we want right we can't go to the bank and say hey i need to i need a 310 million dollars of zero percent interest so i can buy back the one million imaginary shares I sold of this company because there's a whole bunch of retail investors that are screwing me over the game is rigged well the game was rigged from the get-go because this guy knows how it was rigged he's just really pissed because everybody else knows figured out how the game is rigged and how it's played right but these people here right this guy here that's being thrown to the wolves this big boy here he's a big boy relative to me and you he's not a big boy relative to the banks right to the people behind the curtain because they're the ones pressing the buttons and letting the money flow right if you look at the m1 and m2 of federal reserve funds that were released right the chart approximately 40 percent of all cash liquid cash that has ever been released by the federal reserve was released was created in 2020 in the last year so 40 percent of all the money in the in that the federal reserve had ever released onto the markets were created in the last year right and if you want to know how it was created well in the last few months wall street was given a bailout of trillions of dollars well people in the united states some of them didn't even get their 600 dollars paycheck and they're going to be waiting months to even if they can get a hundred uh four fourteen hundred dollar paycheck so wall street gets the funds first at zero percent interest no questions asked within days if not hours of them asking for it and joe blow investor not the same not the same so this guy can decide maybe if the market allows it to short another million shares and 
push it down again push it down again push it down again right and if the line of communication this is extremely important right send soar ship apologies if I spell things wrong but looking at it this way is harder right if the line of communication because this is a war right the first thing you do in any war is to cut the lines of communication of your adversary right if the line of communication is severed between the retail investors acting as a cooperative to take on these big boys right if the line of communication is severed between all these different factions all these different people that are working together as a cooperative and this is one of the greatest examples of a cooperative that I can think of people working together to get something done right if the lines of communication are severed and there's panic selling right and people are freaking out well guess what if this guy can get the funds that he needs plus some to continue to short the shares at 320 dollars and there's panic selling from the retail investors because they can't communicate with each other then now he's not shorting a million shares at ten dollars he's now shorting another million shares at 320 dollars and if this thing goes down this big boy is getting bigger he's going to make more mint money right because we don't know what access to funds this guy has now what's been going on is discord took out the line of communication for wall street bets the people who have an vested interest in this they put their hard-earned money to play this game right and it is a game right so discord severed the line of communication reddit to a certain degree took up the line of communication for a short period during a crucial crucial time if you're in a war zone situation if there's an attack on your front lines and your line of communication is severed for a few minutes to a few hours that could be extremely devastating right you could lose the war at least the battle because this isn't the war is much bigger than just this this is just one battle right you could lose that battle so reddit took it out what else happened oh wow some of these places like robin hood that people had their shares prevented people from selling or not selling buying more of the shares to keep the price going up so this big boy could get right so robin hood and other apps prevented people from buying more shares because they wanted a piece of the action they did the calculation if this guy has to buy back a million shares at 320 dollars price of gamestop is going to go through the roof holy shite it's going to go into the thousands of dollars right but you couldn't buy it not only that these apps these websites started selling people's shares without their knowledge what the f why would they start selling share they they sold people's shares without them knowing it right without them wanting their sh uh, shares sold right so this is just on the front lines of what's going on there is a uh, so much other things going on in the background right which is if you look into this thing it goes into what we just talked about at the beginning which is the veils being lifted people are realizing that this is a rigged game and these big boys these even these guys might seem like big boys to us they might be controlling billions of dollars right but they're nobody they're nobody is that a big boy nobody nobody if we've heard their names right they're nobodies they're not the ones pressing the button and increasing the money supply by 40 percent in one year right side 100 percent side a side b the mask is off what is the game what's going on right 
that's my little quick intro there's a lot more to this I skipped over a few things just answering some questions or whatnot but it should give you a really good appreciation of what just took place what is taking place right and the implications of this are grand or beautiful or are phenomenal this should kick us into Occupy Wall Street 2, 3, 4, 10. Amplify it, right? Because our enemy is not me and you, no matter what our ideology, ideology, beliefs, religions, the different foods we eat, the different the different color of our skin. Right? We're not each other's enemy, right? Occupy Wall Street had it right. Who is the enemy? Because our differences didn't matter when Robin Hood was selling our shares or prevented us from buying shares, right? Or censored our communication. We're all the same. Keep your eyes on the prize. Know what the game is. Decide if you want to participate in this game and realize there's a lot of different markets that you can enter that are disruptive that don't give as much power to this bad boy and his minions and his masters okay that's my little intro to what just took place fun fun i'm going to read some of the chat gang just because i missed a whole bunch of it i was on a roll I wanted to get it off my chest. <laughs> da, 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 yeah, you only I'm not premium to so GameStop was being uh, shorted. Yeah, okay, that I got up. Do you think it's too late to buy now? I, I'm not playing the game, man. I got look to play this game. You got to be quick on the trigger. You need to be sleepy ways. You need to be watching it 24/7, right? Not 24/7, but you need to be watching it constantly. I'm watching it. But I'm doing a lot of other things. I'm creating this content. I'm taking care of little kitty kitties. <laughs> I, I, I've done this game before, by the way, gang. I, the reason I know how this works is because I've participated in this system, right? 20 plus years ago, right? I was... Okay. I know how it's played and the veil was lifted for me a long time ago. And I've written a lot about it in the mid-2000s, uh, mid right? That was a wrong trend then <laughs> what does it mean that gmc was shorted 140 percent basically they had a million let's say i don't know what the outstanding shares were there were a million outstanding shares and people sold one one million four hundred thousand additional imaginary shares right that they had to buy back at a certain point okay makes sense now alliance says da, 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 da. right thanks i mostly understood this Nikki says and I didn't mean to propose taking a company public okay so you guys are talking uh, the need to re revalue all their losses uh, ba -ba -ba. the color the color opera where are the additional 40% shares coming from don't they need to exist first in order to borrow them no they don't right that's the that's the one of the things that's in play in certain markets right especially in new york stock exchange bureaucracy kills people are saying this is a redistribution of wealth from the rich to the poor in fact it will just result in the absolute riches getting richer yeah i don't agree that this is uh, the little guys taking on the big guys and it's like, it's it's going to bring down capitalism and and this and that right it's uh, it's it's the veil being lifted right it's the veil being lifted there are in the same model there are hedge funds here right big money players that wanted to screw these guys over because they don't like them and decided to go long they decided to buy GameStop and push the stock even higher right so what we talked about doesn't even include people we just talked about the short squeeze we didn't even say that there's going to be big money pushing this guy even higher right and obviously the masses of people that are buying to push this up right 
Faith, how you doing? Hey, buddy, hey, buddy, hey, buddy. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, oh, where did we go? Da, 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 da. Spectral shot. The Redditors are wrong to think they can win the game in the long run. Yeah, it's this is not a long game. This is a trader's game. Quick on the trigger game. It's like thinking you can go into a casino and beat the house. The house always wins in the end. Yeah, if you day if you stay there long enough, you're gonna lose. You you're gonna take a hit or give them a blow and get out, right? That's what you need to do. Don't be holding a bag on this one. Masks off. Great explanation. On charter days. Thank you. Yeah, quality. Thanks. My pleasure. Uh, yeah, very informative. Super sweet stream. Awesome, Nikki. Capitalists meet the grinder drink of the common class. Eat the rich. <laughs> Great stream. Awesome, Crow Forest. Uh, laugh out loud, Tony. How are you doing? Chicho, I watched the movie Wolf on Wall Street and I don't know what he did wrong. He was selling people shares and getting rich off the uh, commission. Is that illegal? No. Uh, and, well, here's the thing. Uh, the banks, one thing that happened in the 2008, and that was unprecedented, really, gang. Like what happened with the trillions of dollars being handed out in two, uh, 2020 with the COVID uh, <laughs> thing? Uh, was the stage was set with the 2008 financial scam the largest scam in uh history right it uh because the banks at that time were lying uh they were faking the numbers they knew they knew their funds were garbage and they were marking them as triple a safe as anything right triple a assets and uh uh, Securities Exchange Commission was writing off on them saying yeah these are triple-a assets right and selling them to me and you to general investors not that I was investing in that garbage but to to general investors to retirement funds right because they believe the triple-a rating right so it wasn't that they were they were doing something wrong um, in the sense of selling things if uh, the things that they were selling were legitimately priced but they weren't it was a scam right it, it was it was garbage the government knew about it. It, it the whole thing was the biggest scam you could you could think of of certicon thanks chicho great explanation very helpful awesome full flow chicho is the best chicho right awesome and thank you uh ingen 728 for the twitch prime sub appreciate it knights of comic chicho please explain shorted short sales in a simple way i guess i missed the explanation uh knights of comic basically in new york stock exchange and you have to meet certain criteria right you can't be a dollar i, I don't think so i know i'm uh, seriously i was involved in this game 21 years ago at that time uh, like for example on TSX and stuff like this the Canadian exchanges uh, a stock that could be marginable and check this out we didn't even get into this part now these guys these big boys the amount of assets they have where they can buy 10 million dollars worth of shares right short 10 million dollars worth of shares they they don't have to have all those assets in cash and they don't they only have a certain amount in cash the rest of the stocks that they have the rest of the value that they have is locked up in other stocks right so for example in canada on the one of the exchanges there was a criteria that a stock had to be four dollars minimum four dollars or more to be marginable at 50 percent so if you had us you know a thousand shares of a company that were worth four dollars right that's um four thousand dollars worth of asset you had in that company right now that meant because the stock price was four thousand dollars you could have had you could you had two thousand dollars of credit you could play with right now what happens if the stock dips below four dollars all of a sudden you get a call from the bank saying hey your stock price is your your stock price has dipped below four dollars or your net worth your assets that you have have gone below the threshold that we have to be marginable right now you have to give us the two thousand dollars because we can't give you credit 
of two thousand dollars to do whatever else you want so these guys when they're trying to buy back these things they need to generate this money where are they going to get this money well guess what they're going to do they're going to be liquidating other stocks selling other things so what that does it puts pressure on the whole system right on the whole market because people need to sell shares to cover their margin calls and what what what's that going to do oh this guy sells shares in a certain stock and that stock goes below the margin threshold well guess what these little joe below little peons here they were probably margin on those stocks as well oh they're getting calls from the bank oh no now they got to sell other shares that they have it's beautiful to watch it's beautiful to watch as far as short selling goes it's just the market allows it it allows people to sell shares that don't exist at a certain price because the markets are just a casino now right to sell shares at a certain price and then buy them back at a later date right it's just credit right buy them back at a later date if it goes down they sell it for they buy it back for less they make money if it goes up they buy it back for more they lose money it's it, that's all it is really nice of all comic does it make sense to a certain degree yes it can make sense if you know a company is just bs their their business model doesn't make sense should you be able to uh sell imaginary shares uh that's iffy i don't i don't think so personally to a certain degree i think yes and no but there should be some kind of play derivative puts and calls that you can do to bet that a stock is going to go down and there are right but keep in mind for example during the 2008 financial scam that happened in europe and in the united states i believe all of a sudden the exchanges came up and said okay no one can short the bank stocks like literally because the banks were done for right the bank stocks were just crumbling because they were they weren't liquid anymore they owed more money than their whole operation was worth so people were shorting the shares right rightfully so but all of a sudden the exchanges came out and said okay you can't short these shares anymore no more shorting the bank stocks and then the bank stocks stabilized and they started going up again right wait a second all of a sudden because people realize that this company is garbage you can't short the banking stocks because they're in trouble well wait a second what about GameStop they didn't stop these SOBs from shorting game stock why not right do you think the long-term impact of this will be that the vengeful internet groups will start anti-shorting hedge funds and holding just to make them pay would be a would be a welcome change uh, for Wall Street uh, here's the thing I said this before think we don't have access to unlimited funds right they do look into something called irrational exuberance that Greenspan came up with it was a term that Greenspan came up with in the late 1990s right and irrational exuberance was this those of us who were online who understood what the internet was about we saw all these companies coming up and we knew what they were capable of right a lot of people went wow the internet is the wave is the revolution and it's going to change our world in a huge way and very positive way if done right right so people bought all these stocks a lot of different types of stocks internet stocks technology stocks because you could you could tell what was coming right now what happened was a lot of retail people joe blow like me and you were making mint money we're making good money right interest rates were around four and a half percent then and then the federal reserve came out greenspan came out because they're the big boys they're they're the boys behind this this joe schmuck here right they're the real players right they came out and said oh no 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 this is irrational exuberance people are really happy right now because they're becoming wealthy or they're becoming better off or they're making a lot of money uh on things that we haven't approved that's what really he was saying right this is irrational exuberance right the general population is happy for the wrong reasons right it's irrational for them to be happy that they're making money or they have a long-term perspective of technology on the internet the stock prices have gone up too high so we're going to kill it and what they did in a matter of eight months 
they raised interest rates boom 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 like eight to ten times in a matter of eight months sometimes like two basis points so all of a sudden interest rates went up went from like four four and a half percent to six and a half to seven percent so anybody that had borrowed money was screwed companies that have borrowed money to roll out all these things that had business plans saying okay we're going to roll this out be paid from here pay the interest uh that we can pay because interest rates were four percent four and a half percent so their their books were working out looking good money was going to come in they were going to cover their debts being paid employees and stuff like this no one counted on the federal reserve coming out and almost doubling the interest rates so when they doubled the interest rates all of a sudden all these companies started bleeding money Boom, bleeding money bleeding money and that was a chain reaction just the same way this was a chain reaction but that took out a lot of people right all of a sudden the market crashed right so this is a major game that's been a play for a long time right so they have control of the money supply if me and you don't have control of the money supply we can't play this game on a long-term basis you give your hits you will run away it's a casino okay the color hey chicho do you have an accent you sound like some montreal angle of what i know i'm west coast canadian brother i woke up and realized it was just a scam so i went back to bed haha -ha. cosmic vision got the tap out okay red great to catch one of your streams brother stay safe you too you too and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a journalist and publisher that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see your julian assange wikileaks playlist knights of all comics chicho it's like a temp loan to the rich i see yeah basically basically 100 percent. it's basically a ticket for the rich to do whatever the hell they want right to me and you Right. legendary rob boss chicho if you were chair of the uh, securities exchange market, are there any inform uh reforms you would make in the stock market to make things less volatile uh i don't think volatility is the issue here it's the scam that's the issue i have no problem with volatility volatility is a trader's game i'm okay with volatility i would not allow the rules of the game to be changed in the middle of the game which is what's going on right now they're chain you're like what's going on right now with the stock market right the stock market's been around for 100 plus years right so this thing's been around for 100 years and they're bringing in new rules now what the hell why they're bringing in new rules now you mean after 100 years of having all this stuff happen right they still haven't figured out what the rules of the game are well of course they have the rules of the game is whatever they tell you the rules of the game is right that's the rules of the game it's their game that's why i'm saying that's why i'm not playing their game right i'm playing a different game okay it's their game and they're changing the rules anytime they want right deplatforming censorship prohibition preventing people from selling their stocks s preventing people from communicating controlling information changing words in the english language to make people seem like the other they're changing the rules of the game right morality is just seems wrong to bet against the company it depends it depends i have no problem betting against the company but you can't change the rules of the game in the middle of the game side a side b so for there to have been over 100 percent of shares shorted someone had to be naked short 100 percent it's all this is all naked short <laughs> right which is supposed to be no 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 naked short selling is not illegal naked short selling is legal right as far as i know unless they changed the game on me from 21 years ago <laughs> in in shots in general uh, Knights of Wakama Chicho wasn't the uh, crash of uh, uh, 1929 caused because people had to pay back the money they borrowed off of the worth they had via stock to, uh, to in large part there was a huge aspect of that as well yeah and it just became a chain reaction 
It, as the stocks were going down, some of these some of these poor bastards were jumping off skyscrapers, right? I feel for them, but they shouldn't have jumped off. It's just money, right? I guess they were pretty pissed they couldn't get their caviars, right? Fat. I do appreciate the stream. It makes me much more aware of any investing, though I am not capable right now. Yeah. Pravi Sean. So how do we come out of this mess? Is it the is it the Bitcoin? Um unfortunately Bitcoin is not playing out the way it should be playing out, right? It's, it hasn't become a currency, it's a digital collectible, right? For me, I'm already in the collectible business. I collect comic books, right? Um, so I'm not into collecting something digital. Okay. For me, we need to get control of currencies, right? We need to have uh, currency in the hands of the people not in the hands of the puppet masters right not this guy this guy doesn't control currency this guy has access to the currency that is being created and interest free right we need to get control of the currency once you get control of your currency the next thing to do is to get control of the food supply right so how do we go come to Legendary boss, I feel bad for the poor schmucks that bought G GME late. They are going to lose bad if the big sharks get out early. Maybe they should try selling all of it to a, a popular game distributor. Maybe. And here, here's the kicker, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I think it's nice seeing this happen. And if people, hundreds of millions of people, decide that they're willing to write off a hundred dollars right hundred dollars to screw over the bad boys right hundred million people get together everybody puts a hundred dollars in and shoots this thing to the moon this guy's gonna get a margin call and the couple of big boys behind them are gonna get a margin call not the puppet masters but a couple of big boys behind this guy are gonna get the margin call right so you rattle the cage you rattle the cage and these people over here they're throwing all these people to the wolves right bah, bah, bah. so what's going on their numbers are diminishing they're losing their supply uh, their uh, their buffer right so they're losing their buffer they're sacrificing their buffer and the veil is being lifted veil is being lifted and at some point you're going to see who's behind the curtain right so legitimate thing to do just know what it is that you're doing right if people are thinking that this is a long-term thing that's taking place right now with GameStop it's not this is one blow uh, make sure you realize what it is right it's a battle are you on the front lines going to become cannon fodder or are you strategizing behind the lines saying okay this is one battle let's see where else we can puncture a hole in the system right Nikki, what was it called in the movie The Big Short when side bets were made derivatives, made on the mortgage bonds? It was a it was explained like making bets that a blackjack hand would lose or win. Crazy amount of money uh, got involved. Yeah, it's it's called derivatives, Nikki. Uh, and derivatives are multiple different instruments that people can do on the stock market other than just buying and selling stock buying and selling stock is is is, is like eating apple applesauce every day right that's that's what it is the stock market is not just about buying if the stock market was just about buying and selling shares it wouldn't dominate our world right it's all the derivatives that are in play right now that are dominating our world those are the ones that are in control right if I was in control of the uh, SEC, I would get rid of all these derivatives, right? It would crash the world economy and bankrupt all these Joe Blows, right? Bitcoin is nearly just another way of relying on money. Uh, I agree. Fair. In, in large, and there's a lot of greedy people in the crypto, crypto space, right? The crypto money, all those people that have made a ton of money on GMC, uh, on GameStop and other things and on Bitcoin and stuff like this, I really don't see that money being filtered out in the way it should be to 
disruptive innovation that is going to take these players out of the game i don't see a lot of that money coming into independent creators independent creators right now that have been working their ass off me included by the way right so i have a i have a stake in this game i don't see a ton of money coming into independent creators to empower them to roll out these things in a much larger way and make sure we're sharing as much information as possible where censorship on all these platforms don't take us out of the game right so there's a lot of greedy people that only give a rat's ass about themselves and how much their net worth is relative to fiat currency that are in this game i put out an article a long time ago and i said once wall street got involved with cryptocurrencies i pulled out of cryptocurrencies i'm not interested in playing wall street's game to me this is poison right but why not i'll watch a few blows being thrown side a side b chicho i've seen a few sources now that say that naked short shorting was made illegal after the naked naked short selling was made illegal on banks in 2008 2009 right they all of a sudden changed the game and said you can't short uh bank stocks i don't know if they I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still legit like these people can't be short selling a million shares if there's a million shares if 140 percent of the shares of a company have been shorted right that's got to be naked sh naked shorts forget the moon i want to go to andromeda <laughs> derivatives thank you my pleasure nikki hello good evening afternoon from belgium belgium good evening good evening good afternoon uh for me good morning could you do or have you done a twitch session to help first-time investors we're, we're starting one we did one where we did investing uh we looked at markets uh i have to put it together i've been really busy with uh the kitty cats and doing a lot of other things and de decentralizing more right all the censorship kicking in is uh consumes a fair bit of my time trying to make sure we're on different platforms and uh you know uh, crossing the t's dotting the i's and making sure all this stuff's taking place right and i have to upgrade my system before i can delve into it more so uh, you know i'm doing the best i can man really uh, i'm operating at, at full capacity i have been for a long time uh, and i love it i thrive on it um, but uh, it is what it is and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity okay for more information see our julian assange on wikileaks playlist gang that's GameStop action on Wall Street. Uncharted Ace, are you still around? Are we going to do mathematics, basics of algebra? I'm going to take all this down, gang. I'm going to take all this down. Any straight up mathematics? I'm here. Awesome, Uncharted Ace. Yes, algebra. Rock and roll. Let's do, let's do. And thank you for your patience, gang. Those of you who are here for the mathematics, as you can tell, this is math related, uh, but uh, it's a game. I rather teach the pure math stuff. So uncharted age, we want straight up algebra, right? Been a while. We want straight up algebra. Now, I'm assuming uncharted age, you're okay with adding, subtracting. Are you okay with dealing with negative numbers? Bod mass. Bed mass? Okay, bod mass. We call it bed mass here. Are you okay with negative numbers and what about fractions all right let's deal with fractions man because a lot of people oops a lot of people have a hard time with fractions okay yeah bad math, bad math no no not negative numbers so you're okay with negative numbers or you're not okay with negative numbers i'm just gonna wait for the reply for our try today he's been patient he's been waiting for us he's been waiting for us not you're not okay okay let's do negative numbers okay gang look let me take this off actually no i don't want to take this off it's all blurry now the double negative the double negative look adding and subtracting negative numbers is to a certain degree straightforward okay so just imagine yourself on a number line right here's zero one two three four five six 
one, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. Now, if you can think about a number line, just imagine if you go in this direction, you're positive, and if you go in this direction, you're negative. Absolute values of negatives. Absolute values of negative is positive, right? So if you're adding numbers, it's pretty straightforward, right? Let's say we want to go uh, 2 plus 5, right? I should add 7 here, right? So you start off at this number, which is here, 2, and then you add 5. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're at 7. The answer here is 7, right? Let's assume you're adding, you're starting at a lower position, and you're adding a number. Let's, let's assume you're starting at negative 4, and you're going to go plus 5. So you're going to start at negative 4, and you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you're at 1, right? Make sense? Now, there's one mantra we have. The sign in front of the number goes with the number. Say it with me. Mantra number one. Sign in front of a number goes with the number okay sign in front of the number goes with the number oh wow we're coming up to the end so this isn't just four this is negative four right this isn't just five this is negative five make sense important so what i could do here is i could go five plus negative four five plus negative four is also one okay because this is really 5 minus 4 which is 1 okay so it takes us to the same location now here is one thing you have to appreciate with negative numbers this is the one thing that people get thrown off of okay if you have an odd number of negatives multiplied together it's a negative if you have an even number of negative numbers multiplied together it's a positive think of it as English right in English if I'm not not here I'm here so double negative in English is a positive right so think about the same way so a negative and this is just multiplication this is adding adding and subtracting this is multiply mult whoops mult and divide okay so when you're multiplying and dividing even number of mul negative numbers multiplied together or divided together is positive. Odd number of negative numbers uh, uh, multiplied or divided together is uh, even number positive, negative, right? So if you have negative times a positive times a negative times a negative, right? So if you have a negative number times a positive number, I don't care what the number is, times a negative times a negative, that's an odd number of negatives, one, two, three. So the answer is going to be a negative number, right? Yeah, square root of 16 is plus or minus 4, right? If you have an even number of negative numbers multiplied together, this is going to be positive. That's what you have to keep in mind. That's when it comes to adding and subtracting negative numbers, multiplying and dividing negative numbers. And if you're combining the two, right? If we're combining the two, what if we had the following? Negative, let's write it here. Negative four plus negative five, right? So this is still adding a couple of negative numbers. So if you start off at a negative value, negative four, and if you add negative five, it means you're going in this direction. One, two, three, four, five. So you're at negative nine because a positive and a negative, when you write numbers like this, plus and a minus, positive and a negative, this is really multiplication. So this really means negative 4 minus 5, which is obviously negative 9. Right? Think about it that way. So if you see a plus and a minus together like this, think of it as multiplication. On that note, if I write this, negative 4 minus negative 5. This is the one that messes people up. Well, if you have a plus or a minus right beside each other, 
without a number between them is considered to be multiplication. So this is two negatives multiplied together. Two negatives is an even number of negatives multiplied together, so that makes it positive. So all you do for this is you go, they both become positive. So negative four plus five, you start at negative four, you go add five, where is it? Uh, da -da. Negative four plus five, you start at negative four, you add five, you're at one. Okay. Let me give you one that's complicated, more complicated than this, right? Are you okay with this? If you need it, you can always freeze or look at it later on, take a screenshot. It's a good way to keep notes, right? So what if we had this? When they give you ridiculous statements like this or expressions like this, they say negative two plus five minus negative four minus three plus negative one minus two minus negative two, right? Let's say we want to do this. Now, people sort of panic when they see this, but you have to do things in mathematics in sort of order in the proper order, right? So first thing you do, if you're doing the answer is three, <laughs> let's check it out. If you're going through this in your first scan, take care of the signs that are together that are being multiplied together, right? So this is negative two, that's fine. This is negative five, that's, oh, sorry, positive five. This is negative four, but it's being subtracted. So two negatives make a positive. So this becomes positive. Negative, that's fine by itself. Plus a negative one is really minus one. And then you got negative, negative, that becomes a positive. Cool. Now we can go ahead and do our thing, right? Now, when you're doing this, what you can also do is group things together to make it easier for you to do the calculations. Now, once you have plus five, you don't, you know that's a positive. You don't need to put a plus there. You have plus positive four. You don't need this positive anymore. Positive times a positive is a positive, right? You don't need this one here anymore. Now, I'm erasing these to make it visually more appealing. When you're doing it with pen and paper or pencil and paper, you're not gonna have the opportunity to erase these things. And you don't necessarily need to copy it down every time. But the more of this you do, you won't need to erase things. You'll just, it'll just pop out at you, right? Why do two negatives make a positive? Why are two negatives in English make a positive, right? There is a, there is a, there is a proof, to, proof available for them why two negatives make a positive but i don't remember the proof and i don't go through the proof for me the way i explain it is it's, it's a given in english that if i say i'm not not here i'm here so two negatives in english make a positive two negatives in mathematics make a positive okay dolphin hi chicho does order of operations affect this uh uh like doing yeah because negative and a negative was really multiplication so you need to do your multiplication first right it's bed mass or bod mass or whatever it is is it bod mass you guys say we say bed mass bed mass and remember if you're simplifying expressions you go this way on bed mass if you're solving equations you go this way right which is trips people up as well but if we're going this way we do division this is division and multiplication this is addition and subtraction so we just did when we had two negatives here we're doing the multiplication first two negatives make a positive right because it's essentially negative one times that number and negative two negatives the ones cancel each other yeah hey chicho hello pandemic watch so when you're doing this you can group things together or you can just work from one end go to the other you can go negative two plus five if you start at negative two, add five, you go one, two, three, four, five. So that's three. Three plus four, that's straight up, that's seven. Seven minus three is four. Four minus one is three. Three minus two is one. One plus two is three. Congratulations, uh, the last Lorian. The answer is three, right? Does that help out on try today's? The other thing you could have done is group things together. This was negative two plus five plus four minus three minus one is two plus two. You could have gone negative two and two, they kill each other. Negative three and negative four 
is a uh, negative three and negative one is negative four plus four, they kill each other. Negative two plus five is the same thing as five minus two, which is three. So there are multiple ways that you can go about this. Okay. We always use peak mass. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally parentheses rather than brackets. Ah, parentheses, that's what it is. Peak mass. And then what's O op or operation? The people use it? The violence of mathematics by Chicho. <laughs> well but is that okay on charter days you need to practice some of this before we can get into fractions and prime numbers and stuff uh, but on charter days tell you what okay you're on our discord I think you're on our discord remind me on discord for the next math stream I'm gonna do my my pleasure on charter days remind me on discord on our in the general folder in our next math stream to start off with basic algebra and promise uh, if you make the point uh, in the next math stream I'll make sure that from here we'll go into uh, bet mass or peat peat mass or whatever it is right we'll do more uh, simple algebra where we're doing more complicated expressions and then we're going to go into solving uh, equations okay and then we'll go into dealing with fractions or we'll deal with fractions and solving equations right so we'll do it that, that's basically my promise because you waited so patiently and we didn't you know we only got to the negative numbers and dealing with this parents exponents multiply, add subtract okay we'll do awesome the rhyme save my bacon during more than one exam awesome sure exponents and logarithms are a different beast altogether uh but they are related right they're basically the same beast but the inverse of each other right. fun stuff gang let's call it a stream thank you for being here uh thank you for listening to my uh speedy gonzalez rants and uh sort of explanation of what's taking place in the markets right now i think it was important i'll try to cut out this segment and have it up tomorrow on uh youtube bitshoot rumble and i don't think we have enough coins to put it on uh, odyssey yet but uh um you know when we do we'll share stuff great stream and think my pleasure on try today's oh i caught the end again uh thanks you my pleasure dolphin and thank you for popping in for the end anyway mercury versus mercury venus earth mars jupiter stream what saturn uranus neptune plato <laughs> pandemic watch thank you chicho for the wonderful stream and thanks to real mc mike for helping me out awesome and thank you mc mike i didn't read the conversation but uh thank you for helping out nikki gang thanks for being here if you want to know what this work is about i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chicho if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything is creative commons and everything's layered on mathematics okay so share and share a like for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this and i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart because i love doing this i love acting as a node and sharing as much information as i can and i'm working my ass off here and uh, it's great having the support to do so we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at gang thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the discussion thank you for the questions thank you for being here and as always mods thank you for taking care of business it is because of your support and what you guys are doing here that we're able to do this as well i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live scheduled ones anyway on minds lovk gap parlor when it comes online and twitter and we do have a discord page where a lot of people are sharing a lot of information and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want type an exclamation mark social and you'll see the link to the twitch server as well as the links to these 
platforms and uh, you can join a twitch um, a discord server and share information and participate in the discussion there for live streams when we don't have any visuals we will be uploading the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o is podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream this video to youtube bitshoot rumble okay and everything goes on bitshoot and rumble and sensor tube uh, permitting we will upload as much as we can on sensor tube i.e youtube and you can support this work on those platforms by sharing liking subscribing uh commenting and if you're on youtube there's a handful of people that are supporting this work on youtube by joining youtube membership and there's a button there gang thank you very much for the support on that end as well very much appreciated and it does help us to share as much information as possible gang i hope you have a fantastic day tomorrow evening current events 8 p.m pst my time i believe sunday evening 8 p.m pst we're going to talk about human rights and on monday and tuesday comic book readings in the morning 11 a.m and 10 a.m uh on uh, monday and tuesday thanks for being here gang and i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it or next four streams if you can make it bye everyone <laughs>